Hey guys, uh, in our last question and answer video together, we got asked about what our favorite cheat foods are, and I said pizza and cheesecake, and Carrie said... Pizza and ice cream. So, what we're gonna do, or what our plan is, is to bring you along uh, for a fun kind of cheat meal. Uh, so we're gonna order some pizza, have some fun with it. Yeah, um, actually, you know what? I bet y'all eat more pizza than you tonight. My wife is always <laughs> unbelievable, really. Well, typically, typically we get pizza and I eat mine and then I eat Brian's leftovers. He does all these challenges oh, for you guys. Now, come on. Let's, <laughs> he's all do you guys really believe that? That's like, yes. she's, she's ultra competitive. As I, I will said, show you tonight. In our fitness challenge video, she's super competitive. So I should have known when we were planning <laughs> this that you would, of course, make it about how much you can eat. But we'll order extra and I guess we'll just find out. We'll see. Yeah, I'm gonna get four pizzas total, all the Neapolitan style, two cheese, one pepperoni, and one with meatballs. Made it back home to here with the pizzas and um, I have to say this is not our normal pizza date night spot. Uh, that place is actually kind of a hole in the wall and it is closed uh, kind of over all the holidays until the new year. So these are a little bit bigger uh, yeah. than, than those. Yeah, bigger than we expected. Yeah. So, so we probably over ordered a little bit, but... I will still eat more, so... <laughs> <laughs> now to be, to be fair, she eats a lot. She does eat a lot and for some reason magically in the morning she can eat all this crap food and wake up with her abs better than the day before. And I'm kind of jealous of that, but I'm also not You're really okay. worried about it. Because uh, I get to admire your physique, so I'm alright with it. And we don't do this very often, so it's kind of a fun thing that we do together. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> You really honestly think you can eat more than me? Mm -hmm. You do? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you going to even be able to finish your first pizza? <laughs> wow. I know. I never uh, am shocked by your uh, competitiveness. It's all, always uh, always makes me excited. I have to keep That's you good. on your toes. You do for sure. I feel like your crust is a little much. You do? Is that because that's your first slice? No, you. If you don't eat the crust, I mean, that's fine, but you lose immediately. Okay. <laughs> Look like you're sweating a little bit. I'm definitely not sweating yet. Not yet. You want to sweat like our first date? Like our first date. So we're, we're going to go there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we probably have to tell people about our first date then. You're sweating, drying off with a napkin. All right. <laughs> That's as far as you're going to go? You can tell them. All right. So I go to visit Carrie in Pennsylvania. Now, to set the stage, Colorado does not have a lot of humidity, and I'm not used to it, and I don't like it, also. So I land in Pennsylvania, and the humidity... It was air-conditioned in the restaurant. Okay, that doesn't change the humidity. <laughs> yeah, it was air-conditioned. I don't feel like the air-conditioner was working, but we went to Chipotle on our first kind of date. Uh, which classy. Was, <laughs> classy, yeah, really upscale. Yeah, great. Uh, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. I mean, you, you're, of course, as a guy, you're a little nervous. You want to say the right things. You want to do the right things. So the humidity mixed with the spicy food, which this Chipotle was like twice as spicy for sure. No. It was, it was absurd. My mouth was on fire from the first bite. It was ridiculous. So I'm, I'm trying to combat that with the nerves, with the humidity, and I just start pouring sweat. It was... Dripping buckets in the it, restaurant. 
You've seen the napkins just wipe his face nonstop. And then didn't finish his meal either because it was too spicy. Or I feel like I, I got it together and finished. Mm. I don't remember. I don't remember anyway. that. Yeah, somehow I managed to save the date somehow after that. Mm -hmm. And Carrie wasn't totally disgusted by me sweating everywhere at Chipotle, so uh, I got date number two. And then things went well after that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the story. <laughs> awesome. So I'm, I have to say I'm enjoying this a little bit more than our last date night. Really? More yeah. than the movie? Yeah, we went to uh, went to this movie and um, went in, packed our own food, you know, because um, it wasn't a cheese. Snuck it in the diaper bag. Yeah, snuck it in the diaper bag. Don't uh, tell them that. Yeah, and um, as kind of par for the course for me, I didn't fit very well in the movie theater chair. So I sat down and had we had put the food on the ground in front of me and I was trying to get situated and I went to reach down for the uh, food on the ground and the recliner, because it was an uh, electric recliner chair, which you think would be nice for a movie. It was very nice. It was nice, but well, except when you're huge. <laughs> My quad pushed into the button. And you couldn't even feel the button. You didn't even know. I didn't the know the button there. was there. I literally didn't know the button was there, and uh, it be proceeded as I was reaching forward to, to recline the chair, and my pick your feet up. My foot got stuck on the the what would you call that? Like the the board, the railing, in the front railing of you? in front of us. I was so pissed in the movie theater at this chair. I couldn't find the button because my legs were too big. It was awesome. Yeah, and Carrie's just like smiling and laughing at me because I'm just stuck. Like I'm stuck in the chair. Like I can't move. I can't get my His food. His feet just keep His, coming up. My feet just keep coming up. It but was I couldn't ridiculous. find the button. Couldn't find the button. I was like, there, there has to be a button somewhere. But the best part is you finally, you knew where the button was. And it still kept and happening. It kept happening. Because I couldn't stop it because I was too big for the chair. I feel like this. Uh, Will you fit in this chair? Yeah, but we don't we don't do chairs with sides at our mm -hmm. house. I don't do the sides. I mean, it was a nice uh, recliner. We literally don't have any chairs with sides. No, that's on purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, movie theater, thank you very much. Maybe next time, put the buttons on top of the armrest mm -hmm. or something. Uh, yeah, because it kept happening. It was ridiculous. Might be a while until we go back to the movies. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how I can avoid it. I'm too big for the chair. Like, and the buttons are right there. Yeah. Happens to be on airplanes, too. You ever notice that? Because the, the buttons are on the side. never tells you yeah. to push your chair up. Like, I mean, I sit back in the chair and it reclines because my quad is pushing right. the button. that's what I'm saying. And they always, well, the, mean, the nice ones understand the situation. The mean ones are always like, oh, sir, can you please put your chair up? No, I can't put my chair They're up because my legs are too They're just trying to keep everyone big. safe. I understand that, but they need to understand that, like, if they want to keep that from happening, they should put the button on the top, you know? If you have big quads. Yeah. So big, not, not good for big, wide quads <laughs> in the chairs. My recliner was fine. Yeah, Carrie, Carrie's perfectly happy. She got to pick the movie as well. Which, uh, a good chick flick. It was a chick flick, so yeah, Brian had to go to a chick flick, but you know, I did it. As a lot of guys are, you know, you know, <laughs> you know. Sometimes you got to do what your wife wants to do. So I tried to enjoy the movie, but the the feet going up and getting stuck and all that was a little ridiculous. I have to say. Maybe it'll be a while before we go back. Much. Yeah, yeah. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. All right. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> this is. It's actually a really good one. 
I'm not going down without a pipe. I know. It's, in all honesty, uh, how much you've ate so far is pretty impressive. 18 inch pizzas? Yeah, yeah. yeah. As we were waiting to get ours, they brought out a pizza for a family of four. One pizza for a family of four. So wow. we have four pizzas. Four, four two. Two people. Yep. We're doing okay. I think so. Well, I'm doing fine. I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually technically ahead of you, though. How do you figure that? This is all I have left of it. That's a good point. How are we doing? I'm beating you. Oh. You lure me into these conversations and then try to sneak ahead in the You like to talk a lot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> A little bit of a, a low blow, but also very funny. That was good. I'm just gonna take a breather for a minute. Oh, all right. I'll just keep going. Mm. <laughs> yummy. The key is there was no bet. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And I'm so with thankful us, for that. With us, doesn't it normally not really have an end result bet? It's more about the pride of winning. Right? Did that hit a nerve? <laughs> no, I just know what to say. I know what buttons to push, you know? You won fair and square. How much more are you going to eat though, for real now? Well, if I don't finish this, I'll feel bad. You'll about feel bad for a I'll feel bad about leaving this. You don't want the piece to be lonely? Leaving this one piece by itself. I feel like this piece is lonely though too. Mm. Excuse me. So you should probably eat that one. As well. I probably should. <sighs> I'll stay here for moral support. Mm. So I think, uh, I think we're gonna wrap it up there. I'm gonna finish off these last two pieces of pizza so they're not lonely. <laughs> they can join all their friends. And uh, yeah, I think it's been a lot of fun. Good job. I, pr I appreciate the competition. Good job. Man. As always. <laughs> you won so, this one. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll, we'll pick something else. I'm sure it'll be coming, right? Sounds good. Yeah. I'll win next time. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, for now, go out and be great, and we will check you guys later.